we had a question from a guy and his question was uh, a girl I was hanging out with last year. I, I don't know how long they were hanging out for, but he said, I asked her out and got the I'll let you know answer. That's very popular. Hey, I want to take you out on a date. Okay, I'll let you know. I would need to know more about how you asked her because really, depending on how you ask a woman out on a date, it really does determine the ways in which you're going to get the response that you want versus something like, I'll let you know. Even for women that women that may be interested in going out with you, if you ask a woman out in the wrong way, um, then you're going to risk not, you're going to risk getting this kind of answer. So then, so he got the, I'll let you know answer. So I decided to just let her go and move on. After a year of no contact, she saw me recently and went out of her way to come say hi and ask how I was doing, et cetera. Number one, why do girls do this? And number two, what is the best way to respond in this scenario? All right, so uh, it's a little bit of advanced stuff. Let's do it. Okay, so first off, the reason why a girl would say, I'll let you know, and then not let you know, and then be excited to see you a year later there, there's a, a variety of things that are happening here. So for to start off with, in the first part, again, depending on how you asked her out, it could be a thing where she was either turned off by it or didn't know how to respond in the moment. But either way, the fact that she said, I'll let you know, and then didn't try to reach out for a year, that indicates that she wasn't highly interested. All right. Now, in terms of seeing you a year later, a couple of things will be happening. One, she, women women know when they stop talking to you. They know when they've ignored you and they have not responded to you, right? So it could be one of those things where the response was excited because she's like, okay, I don't want to make this awkward. I know I, I, I go some a year ago, but you know I don't want to be mad at me. So I'm going to come in with all the uh, hyperactive, excited, joyful energy. So I'll be projecting onto him that I want him to be joyful to see me. And I want this to be a positive interaction, even if I'm not necessarily interested in going into that, to that realm, you know? Because women are all about public facing, you know, again, I went to a family reunion this past weekend where on the surface, everybody was getting along great, but I know there was like behind the scenes turmoil amongst the women leading up to the event that I knew had gone on, but I knew in the public, the rest of the family, they were never going to show that, you know? So just be mindful that that happens. But also, also the other thing that sometimes happens is that let's say she said no to you in the, in the thing. I mean, that means however you asked her out, she might've gotten an indication that based on how you were asking her out, that you were needy or desperate for attention or that you were just wanting anybody to be able to date and she happened to be free that day. So that's who you chose, right? And so the kind of energy she read off of you in the moment might've been that energy of like, okay, he might be a little too desperate. I, I don't think I want to do this. So I'm going to put him on the back burner. It is what it is, right? Well, fast forward a year later where you didn't reach out to her. Now when she sees you, she realizes that was that guy that I thought was so desperate for me. And yet he, he didn't try to contact me. He didn't reach out to me. He didn't show me desperation, which is good. But also, I'm so great. Why didn't he try to at least hit me up again? That's weird. I want to see what's that, what this guy's about now. And so it very well could be that that time of no contact made it to where she was interested enough and wanted to possibly see you again. Now, right now, we do not know which either of these are, right? Which leads to question number two. What is the best way to respond in this scenario? And this is why. I always tell you guys that you need to ask a woman out a minimum of two times. Like, for example, in this case, you asked her out and she said, I'll let you know. What I would have done is I would have already thought, OK, she's not giving me a date and time specifically. So she probably isn't interested, but I'm going to wait a week and I'm going to ask her out one more time. And at that point, if she gives me the same old I'll let you know excuse or whatever, then I know I'm not a high guy on her priority list and I'm out. And I do, I say it because I want you guys to know that you're out earlier in the process than instead of doing what this guy did, which is you got one, I'll let you know, you wait a whole year, you see her again, and she's like, hey, what's going on, blah, 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 and now you're confused. Whereas if you had already asked her out twice, you would know, okay, she's just being nice and she's saying hi because maybe we had a friendship vibe going and she really misses the friendship or she just wanted to be cordial or whatever. But I know that this isn't a thing because she already turned me down twice. It's important for you guys to get turned down at least twice by women. That way you'll have a repeat performance of her saying no so you won't be stuck on does she like me or not? I don't know. So that's what I would have done. So in this case, it was a year and she re when she saw you again, she said hi. Notice she only said hi to you, guy, by the way, when she saw you in person. She didn't say hi to you on text. She didn't try to reach out to you. So there, that still is a very low indicator of interest. But again, for your own peace of mind, I would say, hey, reach, reach out to her. Hey, great seeing you each other day. Don't know if you're free. 
on this day or this day, but I'd love to take you out. Let me know what works for you. And then see what she says. If this time she says, oh, you know what? Such and such a day would work great. Then that means great. That means that whatever, whatever happiness she saw, uh, what you saw on her face when she met up with you, that's positive, right? But if she gives you the same, oh, that sounds great. You know what? Uh, give me a few days and I'll let you know. It's, let me just, let me just say, guys, it is always, more often than not, a bad sign when a woman says, I'll let you know, let me check my schedule. Because here's the thing, guy, all women, A, know their schedule, or B, are willing to break their schedule for guys that they're highly interested in. I've literally dated women before that were like, hey, I got a packed schedule, but I can meet for like a 30 minute dinner or man, you know what? I'm, I'm, I want to see you, but I'm, I'm going to be going out of town. Like I'm flying into town to catch another plane to go back out of town, but I can get like a, my car for like an hour to come drive to see you. Like that's what women do when they like you, but are busy is they put you into their schedule and darn what their schedule is. They will find a way to pencil you in women that have low interest to no interest will say things like, I'll let you know, knowing full well that that's going to buy them time and they're going to hope that you get the point that they're not going to actually hit you up. Like they're not. Because the women that like you, they know their schedule and they're willing to see you. Women that don't like you, oh, just things come up. Oh, I'm busy for the next five years and just, I, I never have any time. Like I literally, I get up in the morning and I go straight to work and then I work all day and then I go straight to home and I just burrow in my bed and I don't do any fun things. I don't go to parties. I don't visit family. I just do nothing. No women's doing that. Unless, unless of course she doesn't like you. So that's what I say is that ask her out a second time. So you can either get that second rejection and be done with it, or you can get a positive reaction at which point now, you know, oh my God, I can take her out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop. Won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high.